In this video, I install this Unify access point with Wi-Fi 6 and compare it to Wi-Fi 5 to see if it makes any difference at all. Hello and welcome to well, my kitchen. Um, this is one of the places in my house where the Wi-Fi coverage is less than, they say, 100%. It's not bad, there is Wi-Fi connection, but it's not optimal. Um, and I thought that'd give me a chance to try out this Wi-Fi access point with Wi-Fi 6. So this is the AP long range and see if it makes any difference both to my uh, coverage, obviously, but also Wi-Fi 6 compared to Wi-Fi 5. Now, why have I chosen the kitchen? Like I found out that this, obviously we spend a lot of time here, but also I did a video on the Unify Design Center where I created a heat map of where all the access points are in the house. And this space here, you can probably hear it on the audio. It's a bit, there's high ceilings and everything. It's a bit, you know, echoey. There's not amazing Wi-Fi connection here. It's not like you get disconnected and it drops out, but you don't get like full five gigahertz experience. So I've had this on my uh, radar or my shopping list for a while to put a Wi-Fi access point sort of here in the kitchen up there somewhere. So uh, Unify sent me this, the uh, APLR, so long range access point, so that should give us plenty of oomph and range. Uh, and this is the Wi Fi 6 version. So, first of all, I'm going to test Wi Fi 5. I'll show you what the connection is like here on a device. Um, I don't have any mobile devices with Wi Fi 6 because that's one of the things your device has to actually support Wi Fi 6. Most devices are still Wi Fi 5. Uh, modern iPhones, from I think about well, uh, version 10, iPhone 10 and up. Uh, Wi-Fi 6, but like my modern Google Pixel 5 phone is not Wi-Fi 6, for example. So I have my ThinkPad X1 Extreme that has Wi-Fi 6, and I'm going to use that as my test device uh, for the Wi-Fi. I'm going to do a test on Wi-Fi 5, both here, and I'll do one just underneath the access point to see the difference in Wi-Fi 5 speed. Then we'll install the Wi-Fi 6 device and then do a test on that and see what the difference is because I'm not convinced there's a huge difference, but we'll see. All right, let's start with testing Wi-Fi 5. I'm using a tool here called LAN Speed Test, and what it does is it copies and reads or reads and writes files to a destination on your network and then measures the speed. So that's the most accurate I can find for a laptop. So again, let me know if you've got other tools that work. So here's first standing in the kitchen in that spot. and uh, I'm copying files to my NAS, my Synology NAS server. That's where that P uh, slash movies is for. And I just skipped ahead to here because it's doing about 100 reads and writes, so you don't have to sit and look at that. But the end result is 81 megabit reading and 76 writing. So that's not amazing. It's not terrible, but that's not amazing on a network. Now, this tool also has a chart. So that gives you, if you want to see visually, uh, the speed is reasonably consistent, as you can see, there is a few a few outliers. Um, but, you know, if you want to look at the charts, you can do that. All right, so let's try and test it underneath the actual access point in the, in the Lego room. So we'll start the test here, and you can see immediately it's much higher speed, the closer I am to the access point, as I would have expected. Uh, but let's see where it ends up. I'm just going to skip ahead to the end here again, so you don't have to look at it. Here we go, so we ended up at about 207, uh, 208, if we round up, uh, reading megabit speed. Um, so that's that's decent, I'd say, on a Wi-Fi 5. All right, let's move on. All right, so that was a one test here, where there's no access point in the kitchen, and then another test just behind where the camera is in the Lego room, like it's 10 meters away with a door in between and that was uh, underneath the access point and the difference was quite remarkable about 81 was there 81 megabit here 207 in there of read speed for for files going well to my nas um so there's a big difference and especially now i have starlink right i've just got starlink as you might have seen in the previous video so that means my speed now actually can go up to these 300 megabit uh, or even a little bit higher currently and hopefully in the future much higher so I am kind of after those speeds on my Wi-Fi network as well. So now we're going to install the uh, Wi-Fi 6 LR access point uh, about here somewhere. And then we'll do another test and see how fast that then goes. And hopefully we can get it to work on Wi-Fi 6. 
with the X1 Extreme. But um, that's uh, we'll find out, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. But um, come along. And also, comment and subscribe. If you've got a better test for testing land speed on a laptop, I found this tool to be quite good. But if you've got a better idea, put it in the comments, you know, and don't forget to subscribe and stuff. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's put this up. Now we've got the cable drawn through now. So that's coming from the what's the lounge room switch. That's the industrial switch that I did in another uh, video, which is linked there. And um, we can now install this. So there's this really nice sort of rubber grommet thing. I don't know if this is outdoor rated, but it feels like it with this. So I put that through the, the cable through that, and then that goes into the uh, the APLR Wi-Fi 6. Um, and then when we've done that, we can then uh, test it. Uh, set it up first, of course, adopt it, and then test and see what speed we're getting out of it. Um, so, um, yeah, let's do that. So, I'll just click it in there. It's pretty big, actually. <laughs> there we go. And then we put the, the rubber grommet thing in, like so. Yeah, like that there. So that's, that's pretty neat. So it's flush there. And there's a little tap thing here to make it all look neat. So that goes on the edge. Let's sit that on there. And then we just push it up through. And then there's this really nice plastic cover on here. You see that? It's got power. Um, so you don't mess it up, because I always have dirty fingers when I do this, and I put dirty fingers on it, and it's really hard to get off because of the material. But we just have this plastic cover, and we can just take it off. And it doubles as a hat. I know. Um, but so now that's installed, not installed, but yeah, physically installed. So let's adopt it into the network controller. Uh, see how well that looks with what Wi-Fi 6 does, and then we'll do a speed test of some sort. We'll see how that works. Mm. So you can see here that the uh, new access point is ready to be adopted. It's uh, showing up there in the top right. So all you have to do is just click Add. It is like any other uh, experience on Unify with adding devices, and that will open up the devices list and you can see here that the U6-LR is adopting. Now this takes a little while but obviously through the magic of editing we can skip past that and uh, then we can jump straight into it um, being well adopted or getting ready as it does now and then it's online. Now there's almost always an update available and I tend to always update these immediately because that way it's, it's out of the way. Um, I mean, if it doesn't work with the update, then well, I'm not lost anything. It didn't. I didn't have it before, so I always just update them straight away. Uh, that takes a while as well. This particular one took quite a while, but anyway, magic of editing again. Here are the properties of this new Wi-Fi 6 long range access point. You can see here that the under general we have the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, uh, so that's Wi-Fi 5 and 6, and then the uh, the uplink. So it's connected. Now the main thing here that I've uh, noticed is the power consumption, seven and a half watts. It's quite a lot. There's a lot of antennas, a lot of power in these long range devices. And of course, there's all of the uh, stats for the air, or the, the, the link or the Wi-Fi or the, the signal, right? Uh, and those we'll get back to in just a minute when we start doing some of the testing because yeah, testing wouldn't quite go as planned. Anyway. These are the stats right now for the two different bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So let's have a look at the settings. Now the first thing I always do is give the device a name. 
Uh, I think that's good practice, so we know where it is. I'm going to call this kitchen because it's in the kitchen. And then there are the radios, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and there are things here that I don't really understand if I'm honest. So you know what? I'm going to jump straight into the speed test. Now here's the land speed test uh, application again, and I am now in the kitchen. You can see that the connected access point is the kitchen, and I'm going to start the test running here right underneath the access point that we've just installed with, well, a bit of hope. Let's just see what happens, shall we? So let's start the test. And yeah, there's not much difference, is there? So this is again, the exact same test. It's uploading files or reading, writing files to my Synology NAS. And it's running at 100 megabit, roughly the same as before, where it was about oh, 85 or something like that. But yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead through this test as well because we don't need to sit there and see the whole thing. So this is running at pretty much oh, about 100. It just dropped there, 87, something like that. So that's the same as before. So that didn't make a difference. Um, we're going to do another test here. This is the same spot. And again, I'm just going to let that run its course and then we'll see what happens. And we can see that it's only marginally faster. So there's only a short time period between the two. So um, yeah, I'm not sure why that's not faster. Now, the next step was to try and go and connect to different access points. Now you can see I'm on the kitchen access point here, which is the one we just installed. And it has, you know, as I'm walking away, it drops in the um, re uh, receive and transmit rate here. So now if I'm on a different access point, a Wi-Fi 5 access point, the lounge room, it goes to 400 megabit, which is the theoretical max for a Wi-Fi um, access point as far as I'm aware on a single antenna. So if I just you know go back to the kitchen access point, you see the changing here, the connected access point, um, we can see that it goes way up again. The transmit rate is back up at 500, over 500 megabit. Um, and as I move closer to the antenna, the uh, receive rate is also over 400, 500. There we go, it goes way up. So I'm not sure. I need your help, I think. I know the theoretical speed is there because I can see that in the network controller, but yeah, this is a bit weird. Hmm. So there we go. It's installed. Wi-Fi 6 access point long range from Unify. Now, it um, that speed test, I'm not sure. I think because of the file transfer thing, maybe my Synology NAS that I was going to can't accept it. I'm not sure what happened, but you could see in the RX and the TX rate, so like the, the transmission and receive rate for the access point. So this is not what was actually happening. This is estimated based on the device that it goes up to 540 or something, right? On, on that device, on the X1 Extreme uh, ThinkPad that I was using with Wi-Fi 6 on it. Now other Wi-Fi 6 devices might get a higher speed, but I certainly saw an improvement on that as you could see when I walked around between the different access points. Now, please put in comments if there's a way that I can test this better, because I'm pretty keen on figuring out what works and what doesn't. Um, and eventually I will have to put more and more Wi-Fi 6 devices in and I want to make sure I put them in the right places. So that's another way that I don't want to test them. Um, again, I chose here because I used the Unified Design Center. Um, I knew that this spot was a little bit less covered um, than it could be, and now it is, and now it has coverage, coverage for, uh, for devices. Um, so, yep, thank you for watching. Please, uh, you know, like, subscribe, and do all those things. And I will see you in the next video. I'll just click it in there. There we go. Whoa. Oh, come on. It's pretty big, actually. <laughs> there we go. And then we put the 